What is up all my fellow Turbos, this is Steve Turbo back at it again with the reaction videos and today it's all about Overwatch and their new champion, Ana. Now Ana is a support sniper class, which is a little different. I have certainly never seen a support sniper class in a multiplayer game before, but it is definitely a welcome addition. Now, Ana is the mother of Farah, and she's one of the founding members of Overwatch. So she's right about the same age group as Soldier 76 and Torbjorn. Now, I have only seen one image of Ana today, but I wanted to save watching the gameplay for you guys. So let's go ahead and see what the brand new champion to Overwatch has in store for us. Let's go. All right. Ugh, Temple of Anubis. I hate that map. Uh, she, she looks cool. Her design is really, really cool. Okay, so she can heal with sniper bullets. Oh, she's got a... Okay, she, so she's got a flashbang. She looks great. She looks fantastic. Wow. She looks so good. Okay, so she... Okay, unlike Farrah, she does have, like, a concussion grenade, but it looks like it uh, provides a buff rather than a knockback. Ooh, <laughs> down you go, Widow. It's high noon? Nah, brah. It's your bedtime. God, she's got... A, okay, so she's got a stun grenade and a sleep grenade. She has a heal shot, and she has a buff. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting because I don't know at what rate of fire Ana can put out her shots. I also don't know if she has kind of like a gauge, kind of like uh, Widowmaker has, to where the longer you charge the shot, the more effective the heal could be. Uh, but it does look like she has some incredible, like, stun grenades, sleep grenades. It looks like she's got that little buff like we saw that she put on Reinhardt. So Ana is looking very, very interesting. Now, the, in the, the other interesting thing about Ana is we did not really get a chance to see her ult which is uh, a little surprising. I would have figured we could have seen her ult in action. Uh, but she looks absolutely fantastic. Blizzard, once again, knocks it out of the park with, her, with their character designs. And it's cool to see another founding member of Overwatch coming back into the game. Now, I was under the understanding that uh, uh, Farrah's mom had gone missing. I was under the impression that Anna had gone missing or she, she was dead. But maybe I just kind of read the lore wrong. If anybody wants to, go ahead and clear it up in the comment section. But I hope that this is a sign that we can have an actual useful sniper in the game. I'm sorry, I don't think much of Widowmaker or Hanzo right now. I think they're great on certain games, certain maps, but I honestly don't think they're great overall for the game. I definitely think they're lower tier talent in the game. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. You can uh, probably be like, oh, this guy's shit. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But regardless, guys, I really hope that Ana ends up being good. I really like the way she looks. I think design-wise, Blizzard knocked it out of the park again, and I really can't wait to see what she can do in-game. Now, let me know what you guys think of Ana. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that a support sniper class can work? Do you think that uh, we needed another support class in general? I think we did. And most of all, let me know just what you guys think will be the next champion that could be revealed. Will we finally get to see Sombra? She's a character that's absolutely shrouded in mystery, so we may not know. I'm not sure. I'm expecting her to be more along the same lines of uh, Reaper in terms of, like, super edgy, edgelord type. But anyway, guys, I don't want to drag this out. Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, and make sure you subscribe to us here on YouTube, please. And we will see you next time.